going on Cool Cats, Cool Chicks, Crockley Ben here in today's video, I oh, know it's the second day today for the videos, I'm going to be doing another Q&A video, which has sort of been, went to do like ages and ages, but I needed people like, to ask like, more than just like, three questions and what have you, so yeah, let's just chat in, let's do it, okay, it's from our friend um, Iwa Patoka from Poland, her question was, um, what is your favourite movie with James Dean and why? Well, my favourite film uh, with James Dean in would have to be Rebel Without a Cause because, uh, Rebel, because I think Rebel Without a Cause it was like an inspiration to uh, the teenagers in the rebellious years and um, that is pretty much the reason. Okay, I got a question from my friend um, Aaron Shacklefield sorry, Aaron Shackleford and um, his question was um, what is your favourite cigarette brand? Well, I'm not like a proper like, smoker, I'm more of like, a social like, smoker. Like, if I was hanging out with people who have cigarettes and um, I joined in, I would uh, be occurred as a social like, smoker. So, anyway, that answer is um, silk cut. And that's pretty much that answer. There you go. And um, got a mess got a question from. Uh, one of my friends who was from the previous uh, Q&A video he always asks like, weird questions and his name's um, Antonio Franks his question was do maggots get drunk when they bury alcoholics? possibly but you don't know until you find out I know that sounds grim but yeah I wouldn't be surprised anyway moving on from um, Catherine Rockburn her question was uh, why is it you never see a baby pigeon? Well, I do believe the reason we never see a baby pigeon is because they're probably like in like the mum's nest, and that must be pretty much the reason why, because they probably ain't got the energy to fly. So that is roughly on the top of my head. And I've got a question like from like a woman who does my hair called Elaine Hooker from Slick Fifties Barber Shop, and her question was, "How many hair products do you have?" Well, prepare to see um, how many I've got. Let's see, I've got um, Swafacito, uh, Get to Be From Mommy Doll, finally said it right at last, and the uh, one you gave me, Too Sweet. Another one you gave me, called Blue Magic Personal, which I pretty much occur as a uh, Royal Crown hairdressing. Um, <clears throat> Lucky Tiger Butch Crew Wax or Gel Wax, something like that. It's kind of like Vaseline. Sort of what Elvis uses a lot. And of course, um, Royal Crown Pomade. So <laughs> I've pretty much got a lot there. Hopefully, I guess you'll have to try to get more hair products. Anyway, moving on. And a question from Joseph Pollard from the 40s and the 50s was part of this meet up group. His question is um, Who are your vintage inspirations and how did you get into the vintage clothing? Well, that is one heck of a question, but yeah. Basically, um, there are um, the vintage uh, inspiration would have to be um, Elvis Presley and um, James Dean and Marlon Brando in his early years. And um, what got me. Like into wearing a vintage clothing. Well, um, originally, like my uncle and um, his partner, I like, took me to a 1950s um, retro diner, which is on my 1940s, 1950s most marvelous to me up video blog. And um, when we went in there, this is like my first time. It was kind of like um, like going through time when you take one step in to the interior of Bobby Joe's diner. Like surrounding you, there's like all retro, memorabilia stuff, like the room booth, bistros like, um, let's see, like Marin Monroe um, bistro booth, um, Elvis one, Tony Curtis, um, Elizabeth Taylor, James Dean, Buddy Holly, I can go on forever with this, and uh, they've got the jukebox there, and all the workers, um, they take a hit like, like to a further level, like 
sort of thing and um, by wearing the dress code so they took it a little step further so that was pretty much the reason because I was like man I wonder what it would be like if I try that stuff on therefore I tried it on and I stuck to it hence Rockabilly Ben so yeah that is your um, answer I got a question from Linda Card and um, hers was um, why do you like the vintage era? It's kind of it's pretty much like a similar um, answer but the reason why I wear like the vintage era clothing is because um, no sorry why do you like the vintage era? Um, it looks it makes people look more respectful like my personal opinion is quite unique old fashioned that's, that's all I can think of really Anyway, moving on, by um, Sam Christie, the question was, um, is there a point where we all get to when you're happy with the collection of vintage you have? Yeah, of course. If there's something you finally like, found, you've been wanting like, for ages and ages, finally found it, there you go, you've got your happiness. And I've got a message, uh, and we've got a question from um, Debbie Folks. Her question was, um, do you think vintage is getting more popular with men? Yes, absolutely. And I've got a question from Michelle Ura. Her question was, uh, will there come a point where the vintage clothing, such as the four we start, deteriorate so much it will be unwearable? No, of course not. Not at all. And the final question from my friend, uh, Faye McCormack. Her question was, in your time of the Rockabilly, what are the best and worst experiences you've ever had? Oh, let's see. <laughs> well, I do get like some compliments like, when I'm out and about. Like, when I was with the 1940s, 1950s, most marvellous meet-up group, we've had so many like, compliments, it was uh, unbelievable. It was like the great highlight of our moment. And um, every now and then, though, like once a blue moon, I do get people asking to have photos taken with them. Like when I was at the Elvis exhibition, I was like wearing like the uh, vin like the uh, vintage clothing, like what Elvis wore, like kind of like nineteen fifties Elvis kind of vibe. And there was a few people asking me to have photos taken with them. And I thought, yeah, go for it. But the worst experience I've ever had was um, like people like saying things behind my back, like disrespecting the style and. Um, so-called friends are saying that uh, you should stop wearing the vintage clothing and wear like modern clothes and uh, those were pretty much the worst experiences I've ever had because uh, there are a few good people who respect it and they can be two-faced like, as well and uh, yeah I, so that was pretty much the answer there Faye that's how I can roughly like describe it but yeah that is pretty much it guys that was the Q&A and I do apologise if I mentioned if I mentioned like any other questions like, from all you guys who uh, like asked. And uh, next time I'll try like mention your questions on there as well. So yeah, keep a rocking cool cats called chicks. I see you soon. Take care. Bye for now. Oh, and for a quick update, the um, the days I'll be doing the videos will be on a Wednesday, Saturday, and Sunday.